Budget Committee, Ms. Del Benny. Gentlewoman from Washington is recognized for two minutes. Thank you. Um, I rise in strong opposition to this reckless budget resolution. Congress had an opportunity to start on a bipartisan note to work on creating jobs, building an economy that works for everyone, and investing in our infrastructure. Instead, House Republicans are ringing in the new year by repealing the Affordable Care Act, stripping more than 20 million people of their health insurance. What's worse, there's still no plan for what comes next, threatening massive disruption to the entire health care system. I offered a number of amend amendments to this legislation, none of which were allowed a vote today. My amendments would have stopped this dangerous process from moving forward if the Republican budget reduces access to treatment for those suffering from addiction, reduces access to health care in rural areas, forces seniors to pay more for care, or privatizes Medicare. I also co-sponsored an amendment by Congresswoman Barbara Lee to protect women's access to reproductive health care and family planning services. Apparently, the majority is not concerned with these issues. Before the ACA, the situation was unacceptable. It was a time when people went bankrupt because they got sick, when individuals with pre-existing medical conditions found it virtually impossible to, afford, to obtain affordable coverage. But now, more than 120 million Americans with pre-existing conditions are no longer denied coverage. And young adults can stay on their parents' plans until they're 26. Over 10 million seniors have received help with their prescription drug payments, and all insurance plans are required to cover preventative services with no copayments. Rather than focusing on common sense reforms to strengthen the ACA, Republicans want to eliminate vital life-saving policy with no plan for what comes next. I strongly urge a no vote, and I yield back. Gentlewoman from Washington, yield.